We're here at Cotituate State Park in Framingham, Massachusetts. Uh, it's a beautiful day. And today I'm gonna make some sweet and sour meatball sandwiches uh, with a little pickled vegetables as a topping. My friend works across the street and I think he's gonna be stopping by in a little bit to taste some of the food. Uh, so we're gonna get going. And this is turkey and ground beef. Um, I like to mix them together with meatballs. I think the beef adds that sort of like, this is 85, 15, and the beef is gonna add the nice fattiness. The turkey is gonna be more of like a blank canvas to let the flavor seep in a little bit. I'm kind of thinking of the sauce here in terms of like an orange chicken sauce. Kind of like that sweet and sour uh, Chinese takeout flavor. I think it's gonna go really well with the pickled vegetables on top. It's kind of like an unconventional meatball sandwich. This is really great for tailgating and you can actually do this in a crock pot if you wanted to. I'm gonna add an egg to this. This is my favorite way to travel with eggs. I, I put them in one of these containers in, uh, with paper towels. And I have some gloves here. You know, I'm not the biggest glove person in general when I'm cooking, but when you're outside like this and you don't have access to a sink right next to you, uh, the, the gloves are definitely uh, really helpful. So the coals are really hot right now. We're doing great. I'm gonna throw this uh, frying pan on here. Just let that preheat a little bit before we put the meatballs in. Really trying to just fill up the pan on this. Uh, the meatballs aren't gonna expand or anything, so you're good on that. Uh, they also won't, shouldn't really stick together. Um, hopefully I'm not jinxing myself on that one. Here in some sizzle, uh, not a ton. I might drop this down actually. Just to like bring the heat up a little bit on that pan. Cool. These meatballs are nicely browned on at least two, three sides. Uh, I flipped them twice just to get some browning going. Uh, they're only about 50% cooked and I'm gonna build the sauce right in the pan. Uh, and that way it's gonna be able to cook with the meatballs a little bit to not only flavor the meatballs, but become sort of sticky and more glaze-like uh, than it would be if you just added it right at the end. So I'm gonna start with a little orange juice. Ah, oh, smells real good. I'm just gonna let that simmer off for about 10 minutes. It's gonna finish cooking the meatballs and it's gonna turn the sauce into the glaze that we're looking for. So the, the sauce finally thickened to the glaze like we want. My friends showed up uh, from work across the street. They're ready to eat. So I'm gonna build one of these sandwiches. First, just grab a couple meatballs and drop them in like that. I think we should do five. 
I made these pickled vegetables at home. It's just cauliflower, uh, jalapeno, and carrot with some water, vinegar, and sugar. There's a bee on my face. <laughs> uh, with some water, vinegar, and sugar. And then I'm gonna use this as a topping for the sandwich. John, can you actually come here? <laughs> Perfect, just hold it. A little too much jalapenos on there, huh? Can you handle it? I'm gonna give that a damn. <laughs> Uh, so what this is going to do is kind of add like a cool, bright contrast to the savory and sweet meatballs. And this is going to add like the heat and the acidity as well. So I'm going to build the rest of these and then we're going to dig in. Fair. Yeah. All right, here you go. Looks delicious. Smells delicious. Does look good. You guys need some napkins? Yeah. Yes. Probably. All right, so the goal Thank is you? to eat every one, right? Oh, we, oh yeah. Because we can. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> okay. At what point do we dig in? Right now, right? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Sweet. We're good. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to like, can I have myself enough? <laughs> you ever eat on camera before? Me? I think you have on my camera. The key is to take small bites, but I never do. Small bites for what reason? To not look like a total slob in India. But don't you want Thanks for telling us that, like, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. Now, where have you been? I've been taking monster bites. We can do another one. <laughs> is it too spicy when you take a bite of jalapeno? No. Mm. no. I actually enjoy it. It's a perfect amount That's why I was just like, I just got that little kick because you slice them thin enough. Yeah, I was They're prepared small. for it to be a lot spicier, but no, it's, it's a good amount. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of Grilling At. Make sure to like and subscribe and catch new videos every week. That's it.